So about a year ago, I was experimenting with a lot of different pizza dough recipes. And of course, my family loved that because I think we ate pizza every day for about two weeks. But I finally settled on a pizza dough recipe because it showed up in my YouTube feed as a recommended video. And of course, I had to try it and it ended up being delicious. So I want to share that with you. I am copying the recipe almost to a T except I am adapting it for a bread machine because I really like the ease of using a bread machine and the ease of cleanup after you make some kind of dough. It keeps everything nice and clean. <laughs> this crust is just wonderful. It's nice, light and airy and crispy. And so I will um, leave my ingredients below the video as well. I changed up just a couple of things, but you can check out the original video too. Um, the link will be down below. So we'll get started here with a little bit of warm water, some yeast and some sugar. I think they used honey as the sweetener in the original video and just dissolve that real good. Now what we're doing is we are making what they called a poolish and that is done one day before you want to act, make the actual pizza. So in your bread machine pan, add the yeast, sugar, and water mixture along with some zero zero flour, which you can get on Amazon. I think I have it on my Amazon storefront or some all purpose flour. You'll leave this out for about one hour and then you want to transfer it to the refrigerator for 16 to 24 hours. And I think they said don't go over 24 hours because it gets too acidic. So, you know, just time it good, maybe on the weekends or whatever. And then the next day, when you're ready to make the dough, you'll need to dissolve some salt in some more water. And then in our poolish, which we pulled out of the refrigerator, you want to add a little bit more flour. Now this time we're adding bread flour, which is a strong flour. And we're also adding a little bit more of the zero zero flour or the all purpose flour. Okay. And like I said, those measurements will be down below the video and then add your salted water. So into the bread machine it goes. I'm putting this on the dough setting and we'll let the bread machine do all the work for us. Now about halfway through the cycle I do like to go down and scrape the sides just to make sure all the flour gets incorporated into the dough. So after the cycle is done this is what it should look like and I like to use bread man bread machine. So that's a good brand if you're in the market for a bread machine. Okay. And then a little bit of oil on my cutting board. I think they used flour in the original video, but the oil seems for me to be an easier cleanup. And out we will make sure to pull out the bread machine paddle, which usually ends up in the dough there. And now we want to make just a little ball. Okay, keep it nice and neat. And we are going to let this rise again for about an hour. So once you've shaped your little ball there, uh, just put a little bit more oil on top and we will cover it with a damp tea towel for an hour. Now this recipe makes about two large pizzas, three medium or four small. So I'm making two large. So I will just oil my knife a little bit and cut this in half. Now we'll make two more balls here and we're going to let this rise one more time for about an hour. So I am using um, semolina flour here because that's what I had. I was experimenting with so many recipes and I really like the semolina flour. So um, I'm putting one ball on there, a little bit more oil on top of this and we'll cover it and let it rise for another hour and then we can shape it and make our pizza. So one hour later, this is what it looks like. It's going to be nice and airy now. And I'll put a little bit more all-purpose flour right there on top, a little more semolina around the bottom just to keep it from sticking. And now we can shape it. So we'll start in the middle and we just want to kind of push the air out to the edges to make a nice little crust there. And I am making a buffalo chicken pizza. Um, I've made a lot of different kinds and this is just the footage that I had to share with you. So I have some homemade buffalo wing sauce that is actually in one of my other videos for cauliflower 
buffalo wings. I showed you how to make this sauce. So you can search for that video. Or I'll leave a link to it for you as well. And we'll just cover that up real good with some buffalo wing sauce and a little bit of blue cheese dressing, or you could use ranch if you want to. Um, and then some blue cheese crumbles. We like a lot of blue cheese. And then we'll cover that up with mozzarella cheese. And I like to use just the pre-cooked chicken breast that's in the bags, you know, that you get at the grocery store to make it, to make this super easy. Okay, super easy cleanup. And it's a delicious pizza. Now, if I use my conventional oven to cook this and not the pizza oven, I will cook it on about 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. And... Um, I usually put that on not the lowest rack in the oven, but just one up from there. Okay. And of course they always turn out good in the pizza ovens as well. So, um, there you go. I hope that you can give this recipe a try, especially in the summer. I really like the margarita pizzas because those have the basil and the tomatoes, which you can use right from your garden. So thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a beautiful day.